What happens when we have an irrational number and we divide that by a rational number? Let's find out. So what we are going to do is, we are going to write some irrational numbers, square root 2, square root 3, square root, I was about to write square root 4, we know square root 4 is not an irrational number. So let's make it square root 5, square root 7, so on and so forth. Now, in most of these examples, I am really working with square root 2 and square root 3, but really I'm taking them as an example. You can use any irrational number that you like and you should be getting exactly the same results, right? So now let's say we have, let's write the decimal expansion of square root 2. So we will get 1.4 one, four, two, one, three, six. I think it will be three, five something or, or three, five, six, right? You know what? Let's just write like it, like, like that. Three, five, something, 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 right? Now, and similarly, you can find out this. I think this will be 1.732 something, something here. So let's do one thing. Let's look at square root two. So irrational number divided by rational number. So irrational number divided by rational number, right? <laughs> one, is an, one is a rational number. Now, we know that anything divided by one is that number. So clearly, this is an irrational number, right? All right, so that was easy. But let's take a look at a little bit more complex numbers. Uh, not complex numbers, because they are completely different. So some complex examples, I should say. Let's say we divide square root 2 by 2. What do we get here? Well, in order to find this out, we actually have to carry out the division, right? So square root 2 is this number, and we know this basically is a non-terminating, non-repeating. So let's try to squeeze in as many digits as we can. So 1.414, And we know this is going to go on forever. So we have to basically divide this by 2. This is the numerator and 2 is the denominator. This is that, right? So this will be point. So we have point 0.7. That will be 14. And then this will be 0. So the 1 comes down here. And this is less. So we put a 0 here. So the 4 comes down. And now we have 7. So this will be 14, right? So this will be 0. Now we have 2 over here. So this will be 1. Then this will be 2. 0, then we have the number 1 over here, and then we put a 0 here, then we get 3, 6, 12, 1, the 5 comes down, 7, 14, 1. So this is going to go on and on and on because the decimal part does not end, so our quotient will not end. So in other words, when we actually do the division, we will get 0 0.7071067, so on and so forth. So this will be non-terminating, non-repeating. So when we divide square root 2 by 2, we are going to get an irrational number. So similarly, uh, you can actually try to divide square root 3 you can actually try square root 3 by maybe 5. And what you will see is you are going to again get an irrational number here. You will get something which will be a non-terminating and non-repeating. Just the way we have this. So we are taking an irrational number and we are dividing that by a rational number. And we are seeing that we are getting always irrational numbers. Let's take a look at some more examples, maybe with some different kinds of numbers. What do I mean by that? So let's say we want to divide square root 2 divided by maybe 2 over 5. Why don't we try this? Now recall that if you have a by b and you divide this by c by d, we can write this as a by b multiply by, we change the division to multiplication and we switch this. The so denominator becomes numerator, numerator becomes denominator or d over c. So we can write this as, we can imagine there is a 1 here. So we can write this as, over here, square root 2 by 1 multiply by 5 over 2. Or in other words, what we actually have is we have square root 2 times 5 divided by 2. 
Now, earlier, we have seen that whenever we have a irrational number like this, or any irrational number, and we multiply that by a rational number, we always get this always is an irrational number. Let's write IR for abbreviation for irrational number. So the numerator square root 2 times 5 will be an irrational number that we are going to divide by 2. So we will basically have an irrational number and we are going to divide by 2. Now we can actually do this. What we are going to see is when we have an irrational number divided by 2, this will again be an irrational number. Right? Now, I want to clarify one thing because we are taking a look at numbers which are all positive. It doesn't mean this applies only to positive numbers. Remember, irrational numbers and rational numbers can be negative because we can simply have minus square root 2 uh, when we are doing division. So let's say we have minus square root 2 divided by say 2 over 5. Right? In that case, it will be exact same thing we will get exactly this same answer except it will be a negative in front, right? Or let's say we have minus square root 2 divided by minus 2 over 5. So in that case, what will this look like? Well, this will be simply minus square root 2 over 1 multiplied by minus 5 over 2. Or in other words, minus, minus 1 a minus 2 and minus minus will cancel will become plus right and we will be left with 5 times square root 2 divided by 2 and again this will be exactly the same as this which will be again an irrational so this will be also an irrational number so what we are noticing is that whenever we have a irrational number and we divide that by a rational number we always get an irrational number so what about we have a rational number and in the denominator we have an irrational number. We will see those examples when we do solve, when we take a look at how do we solve, simplify rational numbers, irrational numbers. But just wanted to quickly highlight that if we have a rational number and we divide that by irrational number, we will again get an irrational number.